Hi there, I'm just here invading again the training of uh, Pri, Shigo Shichago Finochi and Sensei Luis Nogueira, I'm Shidoshi Juliana Galenji. And I am just about to ask them the techniques of Aiki Jiu Jitsu, ancient techniques, war techniques of this art. So uh, let's ask them for them to explain us this very interesting aspect of the culture. Can you please explain these aspects of ancient war Aiki Jiu Jitsu? Please, Sensei. Well, sure. What we are studying is a part of Aikido Jutsu which, is, which sets the boundaries of what is the Aikido Jutsu uh, to the war. One could say, but Aikido Jutsu is an art, uh, it's a war art. Uh, it compose, it's composed of techniques uh, concerning Aikido to the war. Yes, of course, but there are, there are techniques which, are, which were designed you know, to cause the to cause more damage and uh, more quickly, you know. So uh, these tech these techniques are based especially on how one can um, can hit, can strike, or can cause damage by using particularly soft tissues. It it could include it usually includes includes nerves, uh, veins, uh, well soft tissues which are exposed or soft tissues that can be exposed once we get to a position. So, for example, in the, in the middle of a ski, for example, although the young part of his body, the outer part of his body is usually stronger for this very reason, to protect himself, the inner part of his body is a side in which we can find more exposed veins, soft tissues, uh, arteries, and uh, nerves, and so on. So let's take if we find uh, ourselves applying the technique in the in, in the mid time of his atemi. Uh, let's say. So once we are here, we have again the inner or the yin part of his body. So we can have it here, skin. We can have it here. Including, they would study even how to grab a muscle, an exposed muscle, and take it off. They would do it also with, uh, for example, let's suppose he strikes a yoko chi. So, let's say, I'll ask Sensei Luis to show us. I know these outer veins and arteries, so taking it off from here and uh, displacing or um, moving from its natural. Uh, position here taking ribs striking and entering with with their fingers to uh, trying to take ribs off or apart uh, like from here uh, of course they could find for example if he enters any of that <coughs> for example veins muscles and veins from neck they could use throat, always trying to, to cause uh, some kind of perforation, grabbing and taking it off. Uh, <coughs> we can find, for instance, if he enters a ski, let's say, why this? What, what we can find? What, what we can find here is that Aikido Jutsu. Uh, concerning Aiki itself, the principle of Aiki sets a interaction between Todi and Uke, which is by itself perfect. Now, the application during a real war situation uh, may not be that perfect because, of course, it's a a struggle. It's, there is a fight going on, and what these these points, what they aim to to do is to make himself out of his condition to react at that uh, room, at that time-space room. And uh, of course, it takes the power from him at that same time. Say, so if he attacks, for example, Ski, I, I get very close to him, I give him the, the feeling that he is going to hit, he is going to strike, you know, giving him the absolute sure that he will strike me and then 
In this case, uh, can you please repeat the technique? Uh, can we say that those aspects of this war, Aikijuju, or more violent Hidoi Aikijuju, comes from Jujutsu or have some similarities with the Jujutsu techniques in his pizza. Yes, we can say that. We can, we can see clearly the influence of Jujutsu. This is Aikijujutsu. However, this kind of the way we fit, the way we uh, we interact, especially during the first moments, especially when one gets uh, inside his, his, his guard, what is happening is I am using straight lines, which is very uh, common and, uh, and usual in Jujutsu. Aikijutsu is composed of the circular movements and of the straight lines. If we have a circular movement and a straight line crossing that circle, we have a spiral. Now, the techniques the so-called war techniques, this, these techniques aim to use the straight lines the most, the most effective way they could find. Say, for example, if he enters a ski and I'm here one, I have already this hand very close to this, to, to this muscle. And this is a mean to get to the next stage, which is to come here. It gives me the condition to reach his veins, arteries, throat, eyes, soft tissues, and furthermore, uh, hitting, striking violently, not just to get his head on the floor violently, but also to use me to use the points. So the in this case, we have a cervical fracture. Right here, right? right when we get here, we have cervical. And of course, there are other fractures concerning a neck, cervical, and so on, which we prefer not to, not to show for. Safe Safety trainings. and precaution reasons. Yes, this Safe is future training. This is not uh, open uh, open to the, to the major public itself. It's guarded to a mm. particular time of study. We can a say more that. advanced graduation yes. techniques. Okay, thank you very much. I guess I will be here showing some more interesting techniques or studies that they are doing on the last days of uh, training for graduation. And in this case, I should. Chago Finochi will be Shidoshi for sure in a few days. So some more interesting aspects and some more curiosities about those anthropological explanations we will try to bring to you for those who actually follow the YouTube channel or the information that we usually study in the Bugay Praxi. Thank you.